High Court in Accra rendered moot an application for an injunction seeking to prevent organizers of the Doomso Mass Top Vigil from converging at Revolution Square opposite the Jubilee House. This was after it emerged that the organizers had amended their gathering point and route for the vigil. In an early engagement with the police, the conveners disagreed on the starting point for their protest. The police later filed an injunction stating that the location was close to a security installation. In court on Friday, May 24, the case was withdrawn to accommodate the new amendment to the venue. One of the conveners of the vigil, Salom Dramani Dramado, told the media that they had decided to amend the venue for the vigil in consonance with the Public Order Act. The Revolution Square was actually the bone of contention between us and the police. The police insistence on us changing the venue, that the venue should be changed, so we complied with that constitutional provision to write a letter to the police announcing a change of venue and change of date. It's a Ghana thing, it, so it shouldn't be even be looked at in the narrow prism of partisanship. No. He added that the organizers of the protests have yet to meet with the police service on the new date. There will have to be a meeting again. So this thing will be like starting anew or starting afresh. So the police on the back of the, the new letter submitted or a recent letter submitted to them will have to arrange a meeting or invite us for a meeting for to discuss the modalities for this very one that we announced to the public through the police, of which letter they have received. The intermittent power outages over the last few months have been a source of worry for businesses and Ghanaians who have to spend extra on power. Although the situation has improved in some areas, other areas still experience intermittent power outages. On May 16, 2015, some Ghanaians stormed the street of Accra to participate in the Doomsaw Must Stop Visual, the brainchild of movie actress Yvonne Nelsing.